Our other big story tonight is lawmakers in Tallahassee debate next steps for the bill banning abortion after 15 weeks. Advocates for a mother's choice here in Tampa rallied outside a planned parenthood. They say black, Latino and low income women would be hit the hardest. Lawmakers debated the bill for hours today, some in hopes of making what they call critical amendments to the legislation. 10 Tampa Bay's Miranda Parnell is here with the fate of that fight. Miranda, there were 13 amendments proposed. Carolina, that's right. And every single one of the amendments presented failed. Now let's take a look at a few of them that were on the table here. Right now, the bill has an exemption for mothers who get two doctors to agree that an abortion is necessary to save her life or prevent physical impairment. Now, one of these amendments pushed for psychological conditions to be included. That amendment, that failed. Another amendment made provisions that child support could be ordered for an unborn child beginning at 15 weeks of pregnancy. That failed too. And the last one we'll talk to you about is one of the most talked about amendments. It would have provided exemptions for women who become pregnant as a result of rape, incest, or human trafficking. That didn't pass either. And Democrat Senator Lauren Book, who proposed that amendment, she shared her own personal story. And from the other side of the aisle, Kelly Stargell shared a story of her own. I was drugged, I was put in a room, and I was raped by multiple men. Thankfully, I didn't become pregnant as a result of that assault. I was simply trying to survive. But many young girls aren't so lucky. But when I got pregnant at 17 and I went to Planned Parenthood, they said I would never be anything. So we can all stand here and cry on the floor with our stories. And not trying to be dramatic, but it's a business. But it's not a business. These are babies. And it's not a choice. It's a child. Well, that bill will have a third reading before senators put it to a vote. That's expected to happen tomorrow. Governor Ron DeSantis has said he would sign the bill if passed, but if that happens, the bill will face another hurdle, the Supreme Court. Let's take a deeper dive. Lawmakers here in Florida will be watching for a ruling on Mississippi's abortion ban. Florida's bill mirrors Mississippi's banning abortions after 15 weeks and leaving out exceptions for rape and incest. The Supreme Court heard arguments on that law in December. During the arguments, all six conservative justices indicated they would uphold the law. A final ruling from the justices isn't expected until June, but Florida is sure to be watching that.